Hi, my name is Nicholas from ST Microelectronics. This video is addressed to people new to ST Microelectronics and to our STM32 microcontrollers. In this video, I will present you one of our tools called the STM32 CubeMX. So what is the STM32 CubeMX? So the STM32 CubeMX application helps developers using STM32 microcontrollers through a user interface that guides the initial configuration of a firmware project. It provides the means to configure pin assignment, the clock tree, the integrated peripherals, the middleware, and simulate the power consumption of the resulting project. The application is intended to ease the initial phase of development by helping developers select the best product with regards of features and power. This is how the pinouts is being configured. You will assign each I.O. its function. This is the peripheral configuration phase, where you will set the parameters of the peripherals you will use in your application. I'm showing here a USART configuration. This is where the middleware configuration is taking place. I'm showing the configuration of the FATFS or the file system here as an example. This is the clock configuration tab, where you select the clock source and the clock speed you want to operate your STM32 at. This is the Project Manager tab. So this is where you're going to give a name to your project, a location where you want your project to be generated, the selection of the tool chain you want to use, a review of the SM32, so the MCU type that you have selected, and the library versions. And then, once you have done that, you can generate the code using the Generate Code button. This is the Power Consumption Calculator tool, located in the Tools tab of the SM32 CubeMX. You will define a sequence of steps, which can be run mode, sleep mode, stop mode, standby, or VBAT. And you will give also their duration. The tool will calculate the average power consumption of your application. So where to find the STM32 CubeMX? So very easy. You will go to our website, st.com. In the search bar, search menu as seen here on top Look for STM32 CubeMX and make a search. This will bring you to this page that I'm showing here. And then you will click on Get Software in order to download the installer. This will bring you to this location of the page where you can click on Get Software to get the latest versions. Or if you want, you can click on Select Versions to download a previous version. Now that you know the basics about the STM32 CubeMX, I invite you to look at more advanced videos on the STM32 CubeMX to learn how to use it and how to experiment with some more advanced features. You can find these videos on our STMicroelectronics channel. Thank you for watching.